when you were in grade 7, you have learned the different laws of exponent. This time, we're going to recall those law of exponent and apply those concepts in our succeeding topics. An exponential expression like this one is read as a raised to m. Or you can read this one as a raised to the exponent of m. A is the base and B is the exponent. Loss of exponent. First law, product law. To find the product of two powers with the same base, add their exponents to get the exponents of the product. Given A raised to M times A raised to N, you're just going to add their exponent a raised to m plus n. For example, class. Number 1. x cubed times x raised to 5. Then what you're going to do, you're just going to add the exponent. And 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So the answer is x to the 8. Second example. You're going to add x cubed plus x to the 4th. So that's x. 3 plus 4 times y add the two exponents for y 5 and 6 so 5 plus 6 and simplify the final answer is x to the 7th y to the 11th last example 3x squared times 5x so first what you're going to do you're going to multiply the numerical coefficients 3 and 5 so 3 times 5 then add the exponents for x, 2 and 1, so x are raised to 2 plus 1, then simplify 15x cubed. Next law. Our next law is called power of a power law. The nth power of the nth power of a is the m and the power of a. In short, multiply the exponents, meaning class if you have this kind of scenario where m, where a I mean, a raised to m times n, then you will just go in to multiply the exponents. For examples, x to the fourth raised to 2. So you're just going to multiply the exponents 4 and 2, so x raised to the power of 4 times 2. And the final answer is 8. Second example. x squared raised to cube raised to fifth. So same scenario class, same procedure. You're going to multiply all the exponents. That is x raised to 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 3 times 5 is 30. So the final answer is x to the power of 30. Next, power of a product law. The nth power of a product is the product of the nth powers of the factors. In short, distribute the nth power to what is inside the parentheses. For example, AB raised to n. So what you're going to do, you're just going to distribute the n or the exponent n to what's inside the parentheses. That's, that is A and b so a to the n times b to the n for examples x y raised to 2 so what you're going to do distribute 2 to the uh, to the terms inside the parentheses that will be x where y there's one because if there is no exponent seen there on the given automatically class the exponent of that term is 1. So, x raised to 1 times 2 times y raised to 1 times 2. Then multiply their exponents and the final answer is x squared y squared. Next example, x y squared raised to 2. So, same manner, distribute squared to the terms inside the parentheses. So, it will be equal to x1 times 2 and y1 
y raised to 2 times 2. Then simplify your answer. It will become x squared y to the 4th. Next law. The next law is quotient law. To find the quotient of two powers with the same base, subtract their exponents to get the exponents of the quotient. So what you're going to do, for example, a to the m over a to the n. As you can observe, they have the same base a. So if they have the same base a and it is a division, the operation is division, you will just subtract their exponent. So, it will be equal to a raised to m minus n. For you to understand this better, let's have the different examples. Example number 1. x cubed over x squared. As you can see, they have the same base x. So, if they have the same base x, you're just going to subtract the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So, x raised to to 3 minus 2 and that will be equal to x next example okay here x squared y to the 10 divided by y squared it is equal to since there's no exponent or there's no x in the denominator we will have it as x squared minus 0 because there's no x term in the denominator times y raised to the power of 10 which is the exponent on the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator 2 and simplify your answer it will become x squared y to the 8 next power of a quotient law the nth power of a quotient is the nth power of the dividend divided by the nth power of the divisor so for example a over b to the end so it is just equal to a to the end over b to the end basically class you're just going to distribute the exponent n to the terms inside the parenthesis which is a over b and there's a there's a clause there that b should not be equal to zero because if it is it will become it will be equal to zero then our term will become undefined let's proceed to the different examples number one x over y squared so very simple distribute squared to x and y so it will become x squared over y squared next example x squared over y cubed raised to 3 so distribute 3 first so the terms inside the parenthesis which is x squared and y cubed then it will become x 2 times 3 over y raised to 3 times 3 then simplify it will become x to the 6 over y to the 9 negative exponent so if you can see negative exponent on your given this is what will happen for any base with negative exponent is equal to 1 over the base with positive exponent. For example, a raised to negative n equals 1 over a raised to n. Example, x raised to negative 2. So it is equal to 1 over x to raised to 2. So you will just have it as equal 1 over 1 over with a positive exponent. Next example, x raised to 4 over x raised to 5. We have learned from the previous laws that if we can encounter this kind of given, we're just going to subtract the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So it will become x raised to 4 minus 5 equals x 4 minus 5 it will become x raised to negative 1 but class always remember this we don't want to see answers in negative exponents so as much as possible we will make it into a positive one so it will become 
it will become 1 over x. Next, zero exponent. For any base with a zero exponent is equal to 1. Very simple. Any number raised to the power of 0 equals to 1. For example, x raised to 0 equals to 1. x to the 4th over x to the 4th equals to... So as we, we have learned that we're going to minus the exponent of the numerator, minus the exponent of the denominator, so it will become x, 4 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is equals to 0. So, x to the 0 and any base with a 0 exponent, the answer is 1. So, let's proceed to additional examples. Number 1. 1 over a raised to negative n. So, we have learned from the previous loss of exponent class that if we can see a term or a base with a negative exponent we're going to make going to make it positive by having it as 1 over a raised to n and we're going to simplify this further we have learned that we're going to get the reciprocal of the denominator so it will become a raised to n over 1 and 1 times a raised to n the answer there is a raised to n over 1 and the answer the final answer is a raised to n next example 1 over x raised to negative 1 so the same manner with the previous example we're going to make it positive by having it as 1 over x raised to 6 and we're going to get the reciprocal of the denominator by having it as 1 over 1 times x raised to 6 over 1 and if you're going to multiply it, it it is equals to 1 times x to the 6 so x to the 6 over 1 so the answer there is x to the 6 next number 3 x y squared over x cube y squared so we have learned class this is a quotient law that if we have the same base you're just going to subtract the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator so it will become x 1 minus 3 2 minus 2 and x 1 minus 3 is equals to x negative 2 and y 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. This is negative exponent and 0 exponent. So we have learned that in a negative exponent, we'll make it positive as having it as 1 over x squared. And any base raised to the power of 0, the answer is 1. So the final answer here, class, is 1 over x squared. Then box your final answer. Number 4, 12x squared y to the 4th z over 4x cubed y squared z. So what you're going to do, you're going to divide 12 divided by 4 and x squared divided by x cubed y to the 4th divided by y squared and z divided by z so we have separated them according to their base then it will become 12 divided by 4 is 3 and we will subtract the exponent 2 minus 3 4 minus 2 z 0 minus 0 so it will become 3 x to negative 1 y squared 1. So the final answer here is 3y squared over x.